Hello, hello guys, this is Char. Welcome back to my channel. Now I'm on to talk about Kim, Kanye, and Chaney Jones. If you don't know, Chaney Jones is the newest chick that he's been talking to, getting to know um, his newest muse, if that's what you want to call it now. Um, if you've been following me on this channel, I don't normally talk about Kim, Kanye, and all their shenanigans, but I had to come on to discuss what the hell I've seen with my own eyes from Kim Kardashian. This girl then sat up here and straight up gaslit this Chaney Jones girl. Just straight up gaslit her and had her people flood the internet with this negative narrative. Or better yet, just a flat out lie that she had broke up with Kanye West. Nobody knew if that was true or not. And it doesn't look like it is. Um, as it stands, uh, cause she's with Kanye. I believe Kanye's birthday is today. And she basically had all her people put out this narrative that her, uh, Kanye and Chaney had broke up. I mean, it was just like floods and floods and floods of inner, uh, articles in all these different publications and magazines that the two had broken up. And she put all these minions out here discussing things publicly online trying to really make this woman feel bad and, and make fun of her i have footage okay i have footage don't ask me who the lady is the lady is someone who's in good with kim kardashian and she put her up to trying to make this woman feel bad tease her about her tattoo she has a tattoo of yay and you will hear the footage and it's going to, you're going to be like, what? Now this picture here, um, this is the picture that started it, right? Like this is the picture that started it. Someone saw Kanye out with this woman at the Top Gun premiere of Tom Cruise movie Top Gun. And they figured this two were on a date or they're dating. And so this was started a rumor that Kanye and Chaney had broken up. Apparently, uh, Kim got wind of this, you know, the woman lives on, uh, the internet. So she got wind of this. She, uh, follows the shade room as well and TMZ and all those places. So she saw this as well, just as much as the rest of us. So she was probably in her head like, Oh, Oh, they're broken up. They're broken up. So she didn't got everybody together to, uh, like I said, flood the internet with this narrative that Kim, not Kim, but Chaney and Kanye had broken up. This went through E! Online, uh, Yahoo.com, uh, Entertainment Tonight, TMZ, uh, Page Six, and so many other publications printed articles saying that these two had broken up just from this picture right here, along with another picture of Chaney. I guess she was out shopping. She was alone. However, she had a driver. Now, I don't know much about this girl. I do know she got some followers on her Instagram and she was an Instagram model. However, she is in mental health and runs a mental health facility with her dad. But, um, oh yeah, and then this picture right here. Uh, it's just two pictures on her Instagram where prior to it had been a lot of pictures and she's just down to two pictures right here. Now, this is the woman who helped Kim get out this narrative that those two had broken up. That was the woman that was teasing another grown woman on Instagram, um, trying to make her feel bad, talking about Kanye and her had broken up and what she could do with her yay tattoo. She could turn it into the word yes. You know what I mean? Like you're not going with Kanye anymore. You could turn your yay tattoo into the word yes, like add an S to it. Like, oh my God, I was so, so pissed off because they're acting like high school girls trying to be mean and they and she's a grown woman and Kim Kardashian put her up to it. And I don't care what nobody say. I don't care what nobody say. I will never, ever, ever believe anything else that Kim Kardashian put this woman up to trying to hurt this girl with words, gaslighting her, making her feel bad. And all along, she really still does talk to Kanye. You know, whatever level of a relationship they're in or not, 
she still talks to him. She still has some form of a relationship with him to the point where the girl felt like she had to prove herself and post a little montage of Kanye West on her IG today because she too have seen all this mess all over the internet. So she felt like, oh, boom, you know what? Let me just say happy birthday or whatever. Let me put a couple of things up. She probably had to clear it with him because you know how Kanye is. He's a fanatic and he's a control freak. He wants to control the narrative of himself and any woman that he's dating or married to. So she probably had to clear it with him. Like, can I post us? Can I do this or whatever, whatever, you know, your ex is doing this and doing that and saying this and Got people saying we were broken up and we're not talking just because you went to this premiere. You know what I mean? I just feel like that happened. Of course, I'll never, ever know. But I just feel like this this is how it went, right? Like she asked him, like, can I post this stuff or whatever? Because she posted them in the car together. Um, looks like they might have been using a filter or whatever, probably from Snapchat or something like that. And she posted it. So that's proof that she's with him today on his birthday, okay? So, yeah, and she posted that. And like I said, she did a little um, montage to him on her Instagram stories today as well. She did not have that a few days ago. So she probably cleared it with him, probably told him what was going on real quick. And he was like, go ahead. You know what I mean? Kanye, I'm outside of him being a fanatic, you know, he cool. And he knows what he's dealing with, with Kim Kardashian. He knows, which is why he gets so upset when this girl gaslights him with this pete davidson stuff right you know she got the uh pete the skeet going around with her kids holding hands they in a car he's the uh, north sitting on his lap he got the kids he took them to walmart the other day the cheesecake factory the other day knowing that this is going to drive him crazy because he doesn't want this guy around his kids in that way he just had to uh get on her about having north having a tiktok um account and he did not want that she since brought that down you know they probably had to go over that in the courts and so she's trying to get him to bark she's trying to get him to freak out and come online and go off and act all crazy because this gives her something to talk about on that lame show Keeping up with the Kardashians on Hulu. And how did they get another show? I don't know. Because the first one went off after about uh, 18, 20 some years. Because the ratings was low. So why Hulu give them another show? I have no idea. But when you guys hear this sound bite from this chick. Now, don't ask me who she is. Because like I said, I don't know. I don't follow these people like that. And I definitely don't follow this scarecrow who was all over the internet trying to make another grown woman mad or hurt or cry. You know what I mean? Try, trying to make her feel bad by something that she don't even know if it's true or not. She just got a call or a text from Kim saying, you know what? Why don't you go online and, you know, talk about um, Chaney and Kanye being broke up and say this and say that. Look at this fool. Think about it like this. Like, Yay is such a transformable tap. Like she could change it into yes, add one letter, exclamation. What this means for Kanye because I feel like we should be giving Cheney some props. She's been keeping him super mellowed out on social, etc. I'm sure Kim doesn't want her heart broken for Yay and Cheney. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? That blew my mind. Now, this is the text that someone who saw Kanye out, that was the text that he put out or the message that he put out on IG. This is the montage that Cheney Jones did uh, for her, her boyfriend or her friend or whatever he is to her. This just got posted today on her Instagram story. She didn't have this um, a few days ago. Like, she's been... In my age, just like Kanye has. Kanye has been laying really, really low. And this is the um, thing that they did in the car together, using the filter, proving that they're together, <laughs> at least today. Yes, yes, yes. This girl is a fame whore. 
She loves attention. She'll do anything for attention and money. Kanye knows that. So let's just hope and pray that he stays calm, under the radar, keep Let fighting for joint custody, think, like legally healthy with the this. kids. Is she gaslighting? Is she a trip? 